Having spent the last eight years of my life working in management consulting with clients spanning over several industries and two years studying for an MBA, I've seen firsthand the middle class habit that keep people stuck in the rat race, tied to a job that they don't like, working very long hours to buy things that they don't need to maintain an unsustainable lifestyle that they don't need as well. If you watch my last video on money habit keeping you poor, I received a couple of feedbacks from you guys asking for more actionable steps to break free from this habit. So in this video, not only will I walk you through these middle class habits that are keeping you in the rat race, I will also provide you with actionable tips on what you can do to break free from these habits. This is a video you don't want to skip. Habit 1. Living paycheck to paycheck. This is arguably one of the biggest middle class habits that keeps people in the rat race. Living paycheck to paycheck means that you are spending all of your money as soon as you earn it and you don't have any savings to fall back on. If you are living paycheck to paycheck, it's going to be very difficult to break free from the rat race as you'll always be going from one paycheck away from financial room. What can you really do to break free from this habit? You need to start saving money every month. If you can only save a small amount, it adds up over time and once you have enough saving cushion, you have more financial stability and flexibility. Here are a few tips for saving money. 1. Create a budget and track your spending. This will help you see where your money is going and identify where you can cut back. 2. Set financial goals. What are you saving for? Are you saving for a down payment on a house? Are you saving for retirement? Once you know exactly what you're saving for, you will be motivated to stick to your budget. 3. Automate your savings. Set up a recurring transfer from your checking account to your savings account each month. This way, you will save even without thinking about it. Which brings us to the second habit, buying things you don't need to impress people you don't like. There is a concept known as consumerism and this is when people are encouraged to buy more and more things like the newest toys, clothes or gadgets even when they already have enough. To this end, we are constantly bombarded with messages from advertisers telling us to buy the latest and greatest product in order to be happy and successful. But the truth is, happiness doesn't come from material possessions. So what can you do to break free from this particular habit? Well, it's simple. Just stop buying things you don't need. Easier said than done. I know. Maybe this will help. Instead of buying things that you think will make you feel happy, try focusing on spending your money on experiences and relationships that make you actually happy. And here are a few tips to help you reduce spending on consumers' goods. 1. Unsubscribe for marketing emails and lists. This will help you reduce the temptation to buy things you don't need. 2. Wait 24 hours before making the purchase. This will give you time to cool down and think about whether you really need the item. This particular strategy has personally helped me a lot as I used to suffer from instant gratification. 3. Shop around for the best deal. Compare prices from different retailers before you buy anything. Stay away from high street shops. You can find almost anything you need on online stores at competitive prices. 4. Consider buying used items. You can often find high quality items for a fraction of the price of the newer version. I must confess, I personally struggled with this for a very long time as I really do like buying brand new stuff. I even bought my house brand new. I was the first person to live in this house. I bought my first few cars brand new as well. But with this kind of mindset, you will probably never escape the rat race. But these days, if it's not a piece of clothing, I probably consider buying used items before newer ones, especially if it has a high price tag like a car. If you are enjoying this video or gaining any value from it so far, please do like and subscribe to the channel. Also, leave us a comment below. It immensely helps the channel a lot and allows the YouTube algorithm to push this video out to many more people. Thanks a lot. Now, back to the video. Habit 3. Working long hours for a job you don't love. People do this because they feel like they have to in order to make a living. But the truth is, you really don't have to work a job you hate. Like seriously, just quit. The problem people have with quitting their job 
is because they've either had no savings at all or they have a high lifestyle to maintain. So start by trimming down your lifestyle and putting some money away into savings. Quitting a job you don't love doesn't really mean stop earning money. There are many ways to make money without working a traditional 9 to 5 job. You could start your own business, freelancing, or even find a remote job that gives you more flexibility. Here are a few tips on how you can break free from this habit. Start a side hustle. This is a great way to start earning extra income while you are still working at your day job. Once your side hustle starts to generate enough income, you can quit your day job and focus on your business full time. Two, Network with people in your field. Attend industry events and connect with people on LinkedIn. This can help you learn a lot about new job opportunities. Get the skills you need. If you are interested in a different career path, consider taking some online courses and attending a trade school to learn the necessary skills that sets you up for good. 4. Negotiate your salary. If you are happy with your job but you are not getting paid enough, don't be afraid to negotiate a higher salary. What's the worst that could happen? Habit 4. Not investing your money. Investing is one of the best ways to grow your wealth over time. But many people are afraid to invest because they don't understand how it works or they think they need a lot of money to get started. But the truth is, investing is not as complicated as it seems. You don't need a lot of money to get started. There are many investment options available that are suitable for all budgets. So, if you are not investing your money, you are missing out on a great opportunity to grow your wealth and break free from the rat race. Here are a few tips to get you started with investing. Number one, do your own research. There are many different types of investment available, so it's important that you do your own research and choose the investment that is right for you. Secondly, start small. You don't need a lot of money to start investing. You can start investing with as little as $100. 3. Invest regularly. Even if you only invest a small amount each month, it adds up over time. 4. Reinvest your earnings. When your investment generates income, reinvest those earnings to grow your wealth even faster. For more details and a step-by-step -step guide on how to invest for beginners, check out the video in the description. Habit 5 not having a financial plan. Middle middle class people don't have any form of financial planning. This means they don't have a clear understanding of their income, expenses and financial goals. If you don't have a financial plan, it is going to be very difficult to break free from the rat race because you won't know where your money is going and you won't be able to make informed financial decisions. Here are a few tips to help you with creating a financial plan. Firstly, gather your financial information. This includes your income statement, your bank statement, your credit card statement. Secondly, calculate your net worth. This is the value of all your assets minus your liabilities. Remember, an asset is anything that puts money in your pocket, while a liability is anything that takes money out of your pocket. So, don't complicate it. Thirdly, set financial goals. What do you want to achieve with your money? Do you want to save for a down payment for a house? Do you want to retire early? Once you know what your goals are, you can start making a plan to achieving them. Next is to create a budget. This will help you track your income and your expenses so that you can make sure your spending is less than your earnings. And finally, review your plans regularly. Here's the thing, your financial situation can change over time. You could be earning more money or less money. You might even have a family to cater for or you can no longer work due to an illness. The point is, your financial situation will change over time. So it's important to regularly review your plans and make adjustments as needed. If you are still watching at this point and still not subscribed, then a sub to the channel will be ratifying. And I say thank you, here are some additional tips of how to break free from the rat race. 1. Become an entrepreneur. Starting your own business is a great way to achieve financial freedom, but it's important to remember that entrepreneurship is not easy, it requires a lot of hard work and dedication. 2. Live below your means. This means spending less money than you earn. 
when you live below your means you'll be able to save more money and achieve financial goals a little bit faster three pay off all debt debt can be a major financial burden if you have debt make a plan to pay it off as quickly as possible if you are drowning in debt check out the description for a video on how i paid off a six-figure debt in less than a year and now you too can do the same next is to invest in yourself this could include taking courses to learn new skills attending networking events or even hiring a mentor investing in yourself will help you earn more money and achieve your financial goals a little bit faster it's important to note that breaking free from habits that are keeping you in the rat race takes time and effort but it is possible however you need to replace those habits with some more productive ones watch this video over here to explore habits that made me six figures within four years but before you do that do like this video and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and i'll see you over there